In this video, I am going to take you through every single step that you need in order to double your revenue within this year and even better, work fewer hours, specifically work 10 fewer hours per week. Hey there guys, Mike here from Sell Your Service. So like I said, I just want to help your funnel agency double your revenue in 90 days. That's how easy this is and what the possibilities are. So let's say that you are currently at 100 grand. My job is to get you to 200 grand. And whatever that split the difference is, for example, 100,000 divided by 12 is just under 10K, but for the sake of ease, we'll call it 10K. I wanna show you how to find another 10K a month. And you can do this up to 400 and then up to 800. And you can do this methodology up to about 1.6 million. We found it works after that. Uh, you need some slightly different scaling routes, but chances are you have a small team. You might even just be by yourself. I want to show you how to double your revenue within 90 days. And like I said, get back 10 hours a week. So at the center here, we have doubling your revenue 10 hours a week, as in working 10 fewer hours. So if you're doing 40 hours a week, I want to show you how to work 30 hours a week. The first thing that people really struggle with is overwhelm. How many times have you had new ideas, niches, tools, all of these different offers and services? You are basically struggling, right? One of the reasons we find typically that people struggle to double their revenue is they have way too much going on. They have too much advice. They're in loads of different Facebook groups. Some people say you should go after SEO. Some people say, oh, you should use high level and just go after reviews. Other people say, uh, don't sell marketing funnels, sell this instead. Other people say, oh, you should have three niches. You should have one, or this is a niche. This isn't a niche. There's a lot of information out there. And what we tend to do is hedge our bets and spread everything out and try to go for as uh, a wider possibility as possible. We try to have as many different options available to us. And that is preventing you from doubling your revenue, right? That's the first thing. You've got too much going on. The second thing is income tied to time. So what I mean by this is if you can't take four weeks off, this is the litmus test, if you can't take four weeks off from your business and it still makes money and grows and does all the things like lead generation and conversion and closing and delivery, you don't have a business, you basically have a job. So if your income is tied to time, that is going to massively restrict the amount of money that you can make. For example, let's say you're generating $100,000 a year and you're working 40 hours a week. If you double the amount of hours that you work a week to 80 hours a week, one, that does not mean you're going to get to 200,000. It also is impossible because it's not sustainable. So we need to find a way to break your time and income being linked because at the moment that is what's killing you. And the third thing is uncomfortable with sales. Now you might be thinking, actually, I don't mind selling. I like selling. You know, you've made 100 grand, 200 grand, 500 grand. You must be good at sales somewhere. But there's a big part of this sales process, which a lot of people are really struggling with. Either handing it over to somebody else. The most common complaint we get from funnel builders is they say, well, the customer wants to work with me or they want to have a conversation with me. Or I'm the only person who knows all of the products and services. or I'm the only person who can sell it. That is being uncomfortable with sales. All right. Jeff Bezos does not spend his time trying to sell Amazon to you. He has systems in place that are able to do that. So we need to find a way to break this uncomfortable feeling around sales. It might be that you are uncomfortable with sales and that you prefer delivery and design work and running a business, and that's absolutely fine, but we need to find someone or something that is comfortable with sales. And typically we find with a bit of a sales process, we're able to do that. So how do we fix these problems? By the way, if you recognize these in the comments down below, hit me up. Just say, yes, that's me. If you recognize any one of these three, maybe all three, just let me know in the comments down below uh, if you suffer from any of these within your agency. Also, if you want to jump on a call with me, a 10-minute quick one-on-one -on -one brainstorming session with a member of my team or me, let me know in the comments and we'll get in touch with you and we'll, we'll try and book you in for a call. Uh, it's completely free, no sales or anything. We'll just try and figure out which one of these is the biggest one for you. So here's how do we solve them. 
The first problem with overwhelm, if you're overwhelmed, I think it's a bit like having a headache. And when you've got a headache, you don't then listen to loud music, turn the radio on, put the lights on bright, start trying to read a book, play some video games and turn on the TV at the same time, do you? No, you do the opposite. You shut down the amount of input. So the first thing we have to do is simplify. This means cutting back the number of markets you serve, cutting back the number of products you sell, cutting back the number of jobs that you, the owner, do, cutting back the number of jobs that your team does, if you have a team already. It means cutting back on the different things you're doing in the day, and it means simplifying. It means pushing everything back and making sure there are fewest things as possible to do. Very basically, if this is where you are today, let's say you're at 100,000, and this is where you want to get to is 200,000. This is a drill, right? We have this thing called the million dollar drill. Most people will try and drill down and they'll say, well, I'll choose this market and this product and this offer, and then I'll get this tool. And they only break past the surface. What we need to do is create massive depth. And that's when we create something called the million dollar drill, which is these five things in alignment. And I'll talk about that in another video. These five things in alignment, that is what will help you get to 200,000 and up to a million, okay? So we need to simplify. That's the first thing. Cut back. Do less, all right? Productivity is not about doing more. It's about doing less. Huge misnomer. Okay. The second thing, income tied to time. What we want to do is systemize. Now, I do not mean having 30,000 Zapier Zaps running and 30,000 active campaign or uh, high level automations going or anything like that. What I mean is, what is the process for attracting new customers? What is the process we deliver to them? What journey do we take them on? What do we help them with? If you have a niche and a specific problem that you're solving for that niche, all you should be doing is trying to solve that problem for that niche. That's it. Right? If you try and do too much, you are going to spread yourself thin. If you're watching this, chances are you're not a 15 million pound a year agency or a 15 million dollar a year agency. Right? That means you don't have the resources to do too much. You are way better off doing one thing and doing it excellently for as many people as possible and then having conversations with people afterwards. Cold lead generation is extremely expensive and therefore I don't want you wasting your time and money. So you need to have systems in place in order to be able to deliver the work, sell and do your own ops for the business. Right? And finally, if you're uncomfortable with sales, what you need is a sales process. The biggest piece here we have is something called the uh, money magnet. What most people try and do is they say, we're a full stack agency and we can do absolutely anything to you. That is not nearly as powerful as having one specific offer, one specific opt-in, and one specific sales tool. And what I mean by that is, this is basically related to your niche. It's what you deliver in the system. You say, we help authors have a six-figure book launch. That's it. That's all you do. Yes, you can help them with shit later on, but until you're having a conversation with them, right, that's all you do. You say, you opt in, you start collecting leads, you start collecting opt-ins, you say, we have this six-figure launch plan, right? It's basically an overview of your delivery. So what are you delivering? Just give a high-level overview. And that's what the opt-in should be. One opt-in, people say, I've got five lead magnets. Or I've got five lead magnets coming out. You don't need that. You need one lead magnet, all right? And one sales tool. People say, oh, we've got webinars, sales letters, video sales letters. Don't worry about any of that. One sales tool. Start having conversations with people. Start having calls. And when you start going through that process with the sales process, it's much easier to offload it onto other people virtual assistants, online specialists, full-time closers and appointment setters, other members of the team, yourself, it doesn't matter because you're just going to have a conversation about this one offer to people who opt in and then make sure that they connect or close with the sales tool. If you want to go through this, something like this, one-on-one -on -one, uh, with me or a member of my team, just hit me up in the comments down below. Say, yes, I'm in or I'd love to have a call. Just let me know and we'll send you a link and we'll get you booked in. I'd be more than happy to have a conversation with you. Figure out where it is 
your weakest in your agency because there's probably areas that you're really good at but there's also some areas that may be a bit weak as well so well, let's jump on a quick 10 minute call one-on-one -on -one, have a conversation and see where we can uh, double your revenue and get you back some extra time within your business if this was useful give that button a boop and uh, make sure you subscribe if you're a funnel builder as well and you're not subscribed already because I produce new videos like this every single week. In the meantime, I will see you on another video. Yeah, have courage, commit and take action. Cheers, guys.